Hi, everybody. Today, we're going to see how I draw barbecue from G.I. Joe Classified Series. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that you'll take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Okay, things are starting to change for G.I. Joe. This is my, I'm gonna rant while I'm talking about this, or while I'm sketching, um, about G.I. Joe. But now, but hear me out. Things are getting better. It's not, you know, the past is the past. I'm just gonna say that because before we couldn't get figures, right? And it was tough, but it's just toys. You know, I, I get that. It was just really frustrating the way they, they did their distribution and all this stuff, but again, I said this before many times, I get that it was probably because of the pandemic and the companies that, that put it all together and, and you know have to manufacture this stuff, they've got a certain plan that they've got to get in line. You know, you want to get yours, you got to get in line. If somebody else is in line, then you got to get in line. Then you got to get back in line, that kind of thing. So, you know, I get that there's a certain order to things, right? But it was just so frustrating that when they did print some, they'd print five, you know, or they, you know, I'm exaggerating, but I'm just saying, it's like, it just seemed like a small amount because uh, let's take uh, the most extreme example. Uh, I forgot her name. Oh my gosh. Baroness, Baroness with the cycle and whatnot. But apparently vehicles are really the hard one right now, uh, but Baroness. You know, you couldn't get her anywhere. And so now, but th they weren't talking about, yeah, but you're going to, we're going to make more. You know, they weren't saying any of that stuff. It was just like, well, here's the next one. Well, here's the next one. And not even acknowledging the fact that we can't get this other stuff, you know? So it was very frustrating. And it was getting to the point of, I'm about to quit. I'm about to stop buying them because again, it's just toys. I could care less about all the specifics uh, because again, it's just a toy and I'd rather go without and not even be trying to get them anymore than get frustrated with trying to get this stuff, you know? Um, so, uh, that's, that's what happened. But, okay, so, uh, back to now, 2021, I was saying this about, um, Gosh, I'm drawing a blank on everybody's name right now. But I, I, they're they're doing better about um, pre-orders. Now, apparently they keep selling all their pre-orders to Target, so there's been a big problem of Target not putting enough up for pre-order. But that's changed. Like this guy, Barbecue. That's why I'm drawing him again, or again, drawing him now, because you can actually get him like as of as of like right now when I'm recording this it is still available for pre-order like the pre-orders had already gone on sale and, and it's too late now it's done if you didn't get one it's too bad you can still order one of these guys so that's again that's why it's kind of like whoa things are changing things are getting better and and that's good I mean Again, because it's just toys, it's not that big a deal, but they were very much on the edge of everybody's done. We're frustrated, we're not buying these anymore. Too bad, you know, just who, whoever gets them, good for you. We're not worried about it. A lot of people, a lot of people in the forums I was, I was reading about, uh, they were all getting like that too. So they, they, they got lucky. And, and I've got a certain look for him that I'm going for, so I'm trying to, to get him in a certain pose. There we go. That's looking a little bit better. Um, because some of them, too, like, uh, um, who is it? Uh, 
Well, Target. Like I said, Target is is notorious for, or they had been notorious for, um, not putting out enough figures. So it's almost like, like I said, I know, I know you got to get in line, you got to uh, get your toys and go, and then the next person's uh, uh, working on theirs and, and production and all this stuff. But it's like. Target wasn't doing enough and everybody was suffering so to speak because you couldn't you couldn't order any or or the uh, um, scalpers were, were getting them all they were, it would sell out like in in seconds I mean seconds like um, when they would go on sale it, you could get it in your cart you can try to to uh, check out. Oh my gosh, I just have no words. You could try to check out, and then all of a sudden, bam, uh, it's not in your cart anymore. You know, it's that fast, and it was usually with like within like a minute. It was that crazy that that you couldn't get this stuff from uh, from Target. So, like I said, it got very frustrating. You know, a lot of us were like, oh, "I'm done. I'm done. Why? Why am I fighting this? You know, who cares? I don't. I don't. I don't want to. This is supposed to be fun, and it's not fun anymore. You know, it's like I, I want to. I want to collect these. I want to, you know, look at them, display them, and whatnot. But you're not making this fun anymore. So, like I said, things are changing with the fact that you can still pre-order this guy, and that's awesome. And that's. See, and that's what I always thought it was. It's like, well, why, why, why are you as, as saying there's a pre-order and then saying, well, we're out of pre-orders? It's like, well, is it? Aren't you saying like, how many do you want? Who wants one of these? You know, that that's what I assumed is that you are you are saying who wants one, and then all of a sudden you're saying, okay, well, you can't have them anymore. Like, doesn't matter who wants one. We're stopping taking orders. It's like, Ugh. why? <laughs> you know, it's like. I'm trying to order one. I'm trying to tell you I want one, you know? So, again, in the grand scheme of things, it's just a toy. It's not that big a deal. But, uh, but like I said, it was just, it's frustrating not knowing. That was the worst part, is they would never come out and say, don't worry, we're making more, you know? They weren't saying anything, not one thing. They would have their 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 uh, um, Hasbro live events and things like that, and saying, "Well, here's the next one," and saying, "We've heard what you said." And we, okay, here's the other thing that gets me. Let's talk about this too. They they acknowledge that we're listening, we're paying attention, because they changed the paint job. Everybody everybody complained about the uh, um, the gold that they initially came out with, I thought it was amazing. I thought it was fantastic. They're trying something new, right? Everybody complained. Oh, this is not the G.I. Joe I grew up with. You're ruining my childhood and stuff like that. And so Hasbro listened and changed uh, the paint job, the paint scheme. And that's a shame because I was, I was amazed and I was so excited that they're trying something different. And all that's gone. All that's done now. No more, no more gold. No more trying anything new. They heard you. They heard you, complainers. Don't try anything new. Anything new scares me, and I don't want it. And I'm upset. And you can't have anything different because I want it a certain way. I mean, I'm being selfish too by saying, yeah, well, I want it a certain way. I want it different. I want something we haven't seen before, you know. But, uh, but nope. Too many people complained. And Hasbro caved and said, okay, well, sorry, sorry, we'll change it, we'll change it. So, it, it's unfortunate, but it does show that Hasbro is listening. So that was the other frustrating part, is we know you're listening, we know you're, you hear us complaining, but you're not saying anything. So, I think it was one of those avoid, avoidance, uh, is, is avoiding a fight, you know? So, I think, I think that's what it came down to. Um, I'm very happy with this sketch. I think uh, we should move on. Let me erase some of these sketch lines and then we'll get going. Because what I normally do is I throw the first few lines is me just putting down the position, the 
proportions and the placement. Position and the placement are two different things. Um, as I get more confident with those, I start pressing harder. So when I lightly erase like this, I'm erasing those first few sketch lines, but keeping the confidence lines, because I'm not pressing hard enough to erase those. So in so many words, I'm getting rid of my sketchiness, keeping my confidence, and that's what we're gonna follow in life, right? Get rid of your sketchiness, keep your confidence, you'll do amazing things, and I believe you will be a success. You will do amazing things, all right? Okay, I think that's enough that I can see where I'm gonna go, but it's not gonna stand out over my Sharpie, so I say we welcome all the skippers and get going. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen, most of the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point. You can find things that the fine point can't quite find. Sketch the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but left my note self enough to see where we're going to go. And if you want to see more G.I. Joe or hear more of my rants, check out that playlist right there. But just check out the playlist in general. Do a search because I've drawn so many things. I may have already drawn what you're looking for. Uh, if not, give me a shout and I'll see what I can do. Now, he's got a visor. I'm just going to go ahead and draw that. And then we're just going to get going with this one. If you want to hear my rant about G.I. Joe and the collectible toys, go back to the sketch portion. It's quite a rant. It's quite a quite a change too. I'll say this: if you have listened to my rants, if you hear me going on about GI Joe and uh, the frustration with the available availability, go listen to it. It's starting to change, and so is my opinion. So have some fun. All right, not bad, not bad. I'll draw his visor in a second. I just kind of want to get a, a, a feel for the shape of his head because even his head, I got it tilted like that at the top. So this is going to change things up just a little bit. That looks good to me. Because I'm trying to draw like a little piping, almost like, like a thin line like that. So you can actually color that in, right? There we go. Awesome, now there is more stuff on here that I don't know much about, like, it looks like something like this. Now, granted, I'm going by the toy. That's all I have to go by right now. So this is kind of my, my, uh, look, this is all I got, you know? <laughs> but, uh, but it's not bad, I like it. Okay, looks good to me, so let me go draw the rest of his face. Now, I'm thickening up my lines as I go, too, because when I switch over to this Sharpie, you're going to see a huge difference in line width, so I'm matching where it's going, basically. And, and you don't have to if you don't want to, especially if you're working with pencil, I'm just explaining to you why I draw, how I draw. All right, something like that. All right, so like I said, mine was tilted over, so I'm gonna to try to straighten that out a little bit. Try to come over here and do this. a little bit better to me. The nice thing is it's a hat, you know, so eh, I'm okay with if, if little imperfections. Or I guess maybe not a hat, like it's some kind of uh, not a breathing apparatus, but you know what I'm trying to say. I think that's good enough. Anything else I can do with color? Um, I'm gonna start off with the other parts. So it looks like there's some kind of breathing apparatus, something going. Let me let me check the other pictures real fast. Again, I'm kind of going by 
Yeah, there we go, like a hose that goes around to the back. There we go. Now build off that. Again, all I've got are the, the, the few pictures I have of the toy, so <laughs> bear with me. <laughs> all right, so this collar is gonna come down here like this. But see how thick this is? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, and it's got a couple of layers of a whole bunch of different things on here. So, I think I'm gonna do the entire thing and then come back and add detail, okay? So, let me try to find, a, again, another good picture. Maybe the front. I don't have a really good front view. Yeah, that's okay. I'll make it up. Okay, so let's see. It's going to be like this little thing. What's funny is I say that, like all this kind of crazy, it probably 100% is something. Like if you were in the. Uh, military or you had to deal with this kind of fire and stuff like that I'm sure this probably makes sense to somebody but for me the old dumb dumb of like I don't know it's got some kind of crazy stuff here <laughs> I am uh, I am flaunting my ignorance by saying I don't know but I've said it before it's like just because you're ignorant doesn't mean you're stupid that's not the same thing ignorance is just a lack of knowledge and Everybody's got a lack of knowledge you because you got to learn you don't know stuff at first and so you have to like learn how to do stuff So as as a, as much as a, a scary word that is not scary, but hurtful word that is it's not really hurtful It's 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 you admitting that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to learn that, you know before you know math, you are ignorant of math. You know, that's it's that simple. Okay. All right, this one's coming down here like this. I'm just kind of drawing the, the edge of it, you know. Like that. And again, it's got some really cool details to it that I'm trying to capture that I'm sure I'm not 100% you know, uh, uh, giving it the, the love that it deserves. All right, something like that. That's about as close as I'm going to get. This so looks pretty cool, you know? Okay, so let's draw his shoulder pads. Something like that. Let's do the other one over here like this. This one's sticking out a little bit more because this one has his arm kind of tucked in. So um, let's draw his chest and his front piece. So again, there's a lot of stuff on here I don't know about. So bear with me. But still, I, I'm I, excited that I'm getting this figure. And it won't be until like fall, but I'm excited that I was able to put in a pre-order and I will have one. Again, if you want to hear that rant about it, go to the sketch section. I don't know what half of this stuff is. I do see some pictures, but 
uh, or some some detail, but a lot of it I'm making up anyway. You know, I get as close as I possibly can. Um, he does have like some. Let's see, I've got him twisted just a little bit, so let me like bend his. Uh, and he's got like these attachments. Like I I really don't know what they are. I'll be honest with you. They look kind of like like clips for a, a rifle. But I'm sure with his um, what do you call it? Like fire, um, not training, but specialty. His fire specialty. I'm sure it's not what it is. I'm sure it's something completely different. All right, let's draw his chest down here like this. Stretch to this side over here like that. And that's pretty much it for his upper chest, right? Let me add some details to these. Again, I don't know what they are, so you're welcome to actually draw the actual real detail. I can only draw you what it looks like it to me. Okay, let's add some, because this is cloth, a little bit of, of bends in the material or kind of thing okay all right all right this one might be a long one okay so I kind of want to draw his legs no let's draw his arm let's go this way so we're just gonna come out this way bicep he's got something on his arm to his forearms which have the big old uh, forearm gauntlet like this here's the elbow whatever is there and then we'll add some detail because it's like some kind of like a, a, almost like dynamite or something kind of something on the side but it's strapped onto his arm like this so um, so that's all we can see on this side we'll say maybe if it's strapped we're gonna say it's closed like this and there's the strap that it goes over you know kind of like one of those little something like that this looks like one solid piece. Maybe it's a little off. Maybe there's like a little something on the other side. We'll say this is the underside, so that's all we can see. Okay? Because it's basically like this. You see that that part of his of his uh, detail. And let's draw his hand holding his his um, flamethrower. I want to say bazooka. I'm just excited to draw weapons, I guess. Okay. The fingers in the trigger like that. Yeah, the fingers are wrapped around. Then we're going to draw the handle. Like this. So we can draw the back side of the hand. Oops. Bent in a little like that. Okay. So for, let me see if I can find a picture of his blowtorch. There's not too bad. That was a pretty good one right there. So, I, I see a picture, but I'm kind of making it up. So don't, don't, uh, you don't have to follow me 100%. But also this kind of gives you leeway to like, yeah, just do what you want. You know, it doesn't have to be exactly what I'm drawing. Oops, it's a little curved. That's okay. And we'll draw the back a little bit. And let me draw some detail. So, but see how thick this is versus the head? That's a lot of times what I'm talking about, how I say that I want to try to thicken up my lines to match how the rest of it looks, right? Because I don't really like, personally, how thin this part looks compared to the rest. You know, I kind of want it to all look consistent. I don't mind the inside lines, especially when you got detail like that, but it's it's the little lines that bug me, that, that I wish, it's like, ah, I wish I could, was able to do that or fix this or, you know, stuff like that. 
And so uh, you can, since I'm right here, you might as well. You might as well do it the way you want. Or you might as well make yourself happy, is what I'm trying to say. So, this goes into his, uh, um, I'm pointing at the screen, into his uh, um, fuel tank in the back. So I'm just going to kind of guide it like this. All right. And you don't have to do this, but I'm just going to do it just to give it that, that, that hose effect, you know? Something like that. Okay. And we're gonna say that this is where it goes into the back, in this backpack. Then all you can see are like that. That's the part of the, the, the tanks that you can see. Same thing here. That's all you can see because it's on his back. Okay, next arm down. Same way, out. And I think he's got like a band on on this one, so. Again, we're leaving a little bit of room for whatever that is. Elbow to the same thing as some kind of protector um, gauntlet piece. Something like that. And again, uh, creases in the arms. And I don't know what that is. It looks like some kind of patch. So I'm just going to do that and take care of it with color. Okay. Um, here, just do something like this for whatever that is. Okay. Now this one's holding an axe, but I got to draw the legs before I draw the axe. So the best I can do is draw the thumb and then the fingers wrapped around. that and then I can't finish it up until I guess we can draw the top part so we're gonna come up here and do this Let's see if I can find a good picture of it it's kind of like it's got this really cool look to it um, it's kind of like the whole the whole futuristic mech look that they started to go with but everybody complained about Ooh, that's not the G.I. Joe from my childhood. You're ruining everything. Sorry. I know I'm very sour, sour about that, but I, I just, I just, I'm upset that they started to go in a direction and everybody complained, so they changed it. They caved. And it's, it's, it's a shame because like I said, it was, it was really cool. And then they said, nah, never mind. Everybody's freaking out. Okay, I'm gonna stop there because I wanna draw the rest, but I gotta go into the leg there. So let me draw the legs. And this is just pretty much material. So, um, oh, he does have another ax hanging on, but you can't really say you can't see that ax. So material down to, to boots. So we're gonna say that there is a strap across right here, right? Down into his knee into the boot which we're going to tuck in yeah right about there pants next to the knee up to the leg to his crotch over this way again another strap again into the boot i know i'm just kind of like randomly drawing but i i, I sketched it out so i do kind of know where i'm going with this Again, here's that strap because this is a holster for that uh, flamethrower, but it's in his hand, so we don't have to worry about it. But I did at least want to uh, 
place it there. You know, like get the, the positioning right. Okay, and... Okay, so there is an ax here, but we're gonna say it's back behind the leg that you can't see it. So all we're gonna say is that you can see that much. It's in a holster. It comes down here, the handles are there, and it goes into like this. This, uh... Studded... Not, not studded, but a spiked. A spiked handle. that's all you can see because again it's kind of behind his leg okay that's that's how we're gonna handle that there now um, oh yeah and you know what because his legs are all stretched out I want to add some creases into his pants and we'll say there's a zipper right like a fly that also help define a few edges. A uh, couple more creases like this. Let's give this some kind of texture, just something like that. Color will take care of a lot of it too, but Sometimes there's just so much negative space that I, I want to do something. You know, that's the whole point of inking it in. That's the whole point of getting it to look like this is we get to get creative, you know? Um, let me let me go ahead, I'm, since I'm here, let me finish up the leg that I'm going to come back to that, that ax. not worried about the front but I can do something like this again just to kind of create some kind of texture on it. the axe let's finish that up so it's hanging down it's coming down this way it's gonna flow through like that it's gonna come through like this right come this way like that all right so that gives it the illusion of all the way down and then I can finish off this hand all right Okay, so now just boots really, um, let me see if there's any special detail to his boots, it doesn't really look like it, looks like there's some straps and stuff like that, the typical uh, boot straps, you know. So I'll do the same thing on the back side and maybe try to connect them somehow. Uh, the front I just see like a little lace going over the top. Now, let's try to connect them. Let's just do something like this. Usually I do it with a smaller Sharpie, but I kind of like this. Okay, let's try to do the same thing over here, then I'll add detail to both. This one is more pointed at you. Something like that. the front and let's add some detail okay I usually like creases right here in the uh, the, the ankle because I like to show that it's it's bent you know it gets a lot of wear right there But there you go, I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Barbecue from G.I. Joe Classified. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.